Hello boys and girls, my name is John, I'm with Rock County Jet Ski, Watcon.com. Welcome to Watercraft Talk. Today, um, I want to talk a little bit about, we're going to do some science, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about compression, and compre doing a compression test. Um, it, it, it was actually Chris, Chris's idea to, to do this little video. We, we both see online people discussing on the proper way to do a compression test. Um, I tell you, I, I do it on, on the four strokes. Uh, I do a compression test and I hold the throttle wide open. We're going to try it both ways. We're going to hold the throttle wide open and we're going to leave the throttle plate closed and see if there's a difference. On a two stroke, I've always held the throttle wide open um, and I leave a spark plug in. And there's arguments back and forth on that, which is the right way to do it and or not. Uh, we're going to try it all different ways and just see if we get any different readings or um, see what we get just for fun. So I hope you like this. Uh, let's play with a compression gauge. We're going to go outside and, and mess around with some a couple of Yamahas we have and, and let's check some compression. <clears throat> okay, so here we have a 2005 Yamaha VX110 Deluxe. Uh, four stroke, four cylinder, four stroke. We'll do a compression test on this today, uh, and we're going to do some science. And we will do it first with the the throttle plate closed, and we'll do it again with the throttle plate open, and see if we get a see if we get a difference. Um, so this is round round one. Throttle plate closed. Hit the start. we get there Chris we've got 180 we got 200 pounds on the old Mac gauge so I'm gonna let that off and now I'm gonna put my trusty rubber band high technical tool on the throttle hold the throttle wide open and I'm gonna do it again fire in the hole And now we are getting a solid 220, uh, 220, 225 with the throttle plate open. So that definitely makes a difference on the four strokes. <sighs> okay, so here is our two stroke. Here we've got a Yamaha, um, actually originally it was an XL700. Uh, it's got a different engine in it now. It's a single carb Yamaha uh, 700, 701. Um, not the dual carb, but anyway, we, we can do a compression test on this one and, and it will be, it will, uh, it's all the same stuff. So, um, I've already got, I've got my gauge on and, um, I'm going to, at first I think we do it without, um, holding the throttle. So, and gosh, Chris, I did not bring my rubber band. Hang on. All right, when I'm working by myself, I've got just a, a large rubber band, and, and a lot of times I will put this on the grip and on the throttle to hold the throttle wide open um, so it keeps my hands free. But at the moment, we're going to do it without moving the throttle. So right now, this is throttle plate closed, one spark plug, so I'm in cylinder number one. Cylinder number two, you know, let's start with this. I'm going to take the spark plug out. And hopefully you can hear the difference in, in the speed and how the motor turns with the spark plug out. So here we go, fire in the hole, uh, Yamaha 700 single carb. So we're at 150 pounds on my snap-on gauge on this one, um, which is perfect, right in spec, right where it should be. Uh, that is, again, um, throttle plate closed, no, sp no spark plug. I'm going to put a spark plug back in the number two cylinder. I do it this way. I prefer it, and I think I hope you'll be able to hear it on the video. It just seems that with the compression, it seems to crank faster, more consistent and faster. Um, let's see if the, if the compression changes. I think you can definitely hear that crank. In fact, it appears to be a little lower. We are at 145-ish pounds. Now, let's open the throttle plate. 
and see if anything changes. So that'll hold the carb wide open. Here we go, fire in the hole number three. And there it was kind of jumping. It was going, we're over 150. So we gained compression by holding the throttle plate open. And uh, with, with the spark plug in, I, I just think it, it turns over better. I'm gonna go to cylinder number two, just to check it for fun and make sure that it's even. So I guess moral of the story is going to be from me. My, my advice is on a two stroke, I leave the spark plug, second spark plug in, second end, or, and or third or whatever. If it's a triple, I leave all the spark plugs in other than the hole that you're checking. Hold the throttle plate wide open. I've always done that. Four stroke, definitely hold the throttle plate wide open. Most important thing though is going to be is just do consistently. Whatever you do, just do that every time. And uh, it's, it's more about seeing consistency. All right, here we go. Fire in the hole number two. Spark plug in number one is in and throttle plate is still open. Again, we're up 155-ish, 155, 160, uh, 160 actually. And this machine is actually fresh right out of storage. Um, has not really been in the water yet and still has fogging oil in it. So it's gonna, it, it's probably got a little extra fogging oil in the back end, I'm guessing. Anyway, uh, I hope you found, found that fun. I, I really didn't see, personally, I mean, we saw a few changes, um, especially from throttle plate closed to throttle plate open. So check compression with your throttle plate open always it, it allows the most amount of air in and even more so on a four stroke it's important because it it, disena it disables the fuel injectors um, with the throttle plate closed the machine is trying to start and if you hold the throttle plate wide open it's in flooded mode and it will not pump fuel in the fuel injectors so that's really the ticket on those as well uh, I think that's it for today I hope you like that if you do, please hit the subscribe button. Like, tag, share, and follow with all your friends. It's a crazy world out there, like I always say. Please be nice to each other. And the next time, we'll see you out on the water.